Law and Order has been running for a long time and has been one of the most popular shows on television for a while now. Two of the shows in the franchise, SVU and Organized Crime, have been teasing a romantic relationship between the two main characters for a while now. These are Olivia Benson and Elliot Stabler, who have long been close friends, with the series teasing that they may one day become lovers. With that being said, a character from Stabler's past has been introduced into the fray, which complicates this possible romance. Her name is Tia Leonetti, and she is a former colleague and friend of Stabler's. In this video, we'll be covering why this character is a major insult to those who have been hoping to see Benson and Stabler together. Also, stick around to find out why some major Law & Order actors have left the show over the years. First, why is Benson and Stabler's relationship so important? One of the most satisfying parts of any TV show is a will-they-won't-they -they relationship dynamic and the slow burn that comes along with it. Benson and Stabler truly epitomize this with their potential romance being teased for 24 seasons now. Throughout several seasons, their friendship seemingly began to evolve into more, even though Stabler was loyal to his wife. Eventually, Stabler would leave SVU, which deeply affected Benson. The moment their feelings for each other became clear was in Season 7 of SVU. This was when Benson risked her life to protect Stabler, admitting some of her feelings for him in the process. Because Stabler recently returned to Law & Order and with his wife, unfortunately passing away, the door seemed more open than ever for Stabler and Benson to finally get together after all this time. While fans began waiting with bated breath for showrunners to finally pull the trigger on the romance, they seemingly decided to go another route. This is with the introduction of one Tia Leonetti, and here's why her character is an insult to the possibility of Stabler and Benson getting together. Next, here's why Tia's character is an insult to Benson and Stabler's potential relationship. Tia's backstory reveals that she is a former colleague of Stabler's and and that his late wife was very close to her. Their relationship mirrors that of his with Benson quite a lot. What with them being colleagues with a seemingly deeper connection, it appears that showrunners are positioning Tia as Stabler's new love interest now that his wife has passed away. This became even more certain in the episode All That Glitters, which ends with Tia outside Elliot's door, appearing to be looking to take their relationship to the next level. With Benson and Stabler's relationship being teased for nearly two decades, it would feel cheap to pull the trigger on a completely unrelated relationship, especially one that feels so similar. With fans hoping to see the couple get together for years now, they are wondering how much longer they will have to wait. Fans are likely hoping that the character of Tia is simply a red herring that will lead to the eventual payoff of Benson and Stabler finally getting together. As of right now, all they can do is hope. Now, let's take a look at some of the actors who have left Law & Order over the years and their reasons for doing so. Moving on first up is Chris Noth, who left over pay disputes. Chris Noth was the first actor on the show to rise to fame because of his role. Being with the show from the very start, Noth was introduced as a junior detective, Mike Logan, in the very first episode of the show. Logan would go on to become one of the show's most popular characters, but was written off the show in 1995. This was all to do with pay negotiations between Noth and the show's producers. It appears that Noth had a contract lasting for five years and was expecting a large pay bump upon the renewal of his contract for a sixth season. This just wasn't a possibility at the time, and the two parties couldn't agree. Noth ended up having a perfectly fine career afterward, starring in shows such as The Good Wife and Sex in the City. Nearly 20 years later, Law & Order was also able to survive just fine without Mike Logan. Next up is Fred Thompson, who left the show to pursue his political career. Fred Thompson played the role of District Attorney Arthur Branch in the original Law & Order. He was very believable in the role of an authority figure because, believe it or not, he served as counsel to U.S. Senators throughout the Watergate investigation in the 70s. He also served as counsel for Marie Ragionti, who was a Tennessee parole board chair who fought a wrongful termination case. Interestingly enough, Thompson would go on to play himself in the 1990 film adaptation of this case, Marie. This would lead him to star in a series of movies such as No Way Out and Die Hard 2. In 1994, after a short run in Hollywood, he would then go on to serve as a senator for eight years until 2002. At the end of his term, he would become an actor in Law & Order. He would last there for five years before making a run for the presidency. He would leave the show to attempt to win the Republican nomination for president, but would come up short in the primaries. He would return to acting, but never to Law & Order. Coming up next is Michael Moriarty, who ended up leaving the entertainment business entirely. The story behind Michael Moriarty leaving Law & Order begins with former U.S. Attorney General Janet Reno. In 1993, Reno began 
began blaming TV violence for real-world crime and sought to further legislate graphic images shown on television shows. This got her in contact with the producer of Law & Order, Dick Wolf, as well as Moriarty, who played D.A. Benjamin Stone on the show. Moriarty was having none of Reno's proposal, especially because he didn't see Law & Order as having any content that could even be considered too violent. Moriarty would go on a campaign against Reno, taking out ads in entertainment publications in an attempt to garner support for his cause. Things did not go as planned for the actor, and the situation ended up sullying his love for the entertainment business as a whole. He decided to quit his role in Law & Order and move to Canada to pursue a more peaceful life for himself. Up next is Benjamin Bratt, who got too famous to continue on Law & Order. Across the history of the show, Benjamin Bratt is one of the most famous actors to ever get his start on Law & Order. The actor played Detective Benjamin Curtis and quickly became one of the most intriguing and popular characters on the show. He stayed on the show for four seasons before leaving in 1999 to pursue his film career. These include such movies as Miss Congeniality, Traffic, and Doctor Strange. Bratt was only the fifth Law & Order cast member to earn an Emmy nomination for his work on the show. Such an honor would make you think Bratt would have stayed around for longer, but it's clear he saw his place in the film industry. At the end of the day, it appears Benjamin Bratt made the right choice. Finally, Jesse L. Martin left the show to return to the theater. Broadway and Law and & Order have a lot in common, as they are how many up-and-coming New York actors get their names out there. One actor who took full advantage of both entertainment institutions was Jesse L. Martin. Before ever appearing on Law & Order, Martin would star as Tom Collins in the first ever production of Rent, which would go on to be one of the most successful musicals of the 20th century. In 1999, Martin would transition into television acting, taking on the role of junior detective Ed Green on Law & Order. Going back to the last entry on this list, Martin would serve as Benjamin Bratt's replacement on the show. Martin would stay on the show for nearly a decade, starring in almost 200 episodes of the show, becoming one of the most loved loved cast members in the show's long history. Eventually though, Martin would decide that he needed to return to the stage where he got his start. As he said when he left the show, quote, it was pretty much time for me. I need to get back on stage before I get too scared and do it again. He would make his return to Broadway in a 2010 production of Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice. When Martin left Law & Order, he certainly didn't leave television for good. He can still be playing Joe West on the hit superhero show The Flash. Are you a big fan of Law & Order? What do you think of the possibility of Benson and Stabler finally getting together? Is Tia just a red herring or will she get together with Stabler? Do you think showrunners will pull the trigger on the long-awaited romance between Benson and Stabler soon? Also, who are some of your favorite actors who left the show? Did any of them make our list or are there more we've forgotten about? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and while you're down there, please don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching and as always, we'll see you next time.